This video behind me went viral a few weeks ago, melting hearts around the world. In case you missed it, here it is. Seven-year-old Emery, who was blind, opening her Christmas gift. Oh, it's a real Harry Potter book! Oh, you God. bet it is, sis! Hearing Emery's pure joy over receiving Braille Harry Potter books was so touching, and it helped raise awareness about the challenges faced by people who are blind or visually impaired. One Braille Harry Potter book can cost up to $300, for instance. While Braille has been around for nearly 200 years, the good news is that new technology is helping overcome obstacles in many ways. Tonight, in honor of Low Vision Awareness Month, we show you how Braille Institute San Diego is helping people in our local community navigate through the pandemic and beyond. While this viral video of seven-year-old Emery opening her Christmas gift made most of us smile, for Aim Gilstrap, it brought back wonderful memories. It reminded me when I was seven years old one Christmas, and I got this book called Expectations. I know I was as excited as that little girl. A lot has changed since those days in the 70s. Aim Gilstrap says advancements in technology and helpful apps have changed her life. Microwave at three quarters cup of... I could just read the directions on my scanner. It's helped me become independent. I can read my mail. Aim, who has been blind since birth, takes classes at Braille Institute San Diego and has also become an invaluable resource there. I volunteer at Braille Institute and that right there is a game changer for me because I'm helping other people too as well as myself and I always like to know that I'm providing a service and making somebody's day. And during the pandemic she's learned new skills. I have just learned how to use Zoom and Microsoft Teams. It opens up a whole new world for you during a crucial time when all of us are isolated from each other. So yes. really, it's been a lifeline for you. If I didn't know this technology, I don't think I would have been as engaged, you know, with this pandemic. February is Low Vision Awareness Month, and even though Braille Institute San Diego isn't physically open due to the pandemic right now, the nonprofit continues to offer free resources to people who are blind or visually impaired. It's been a really um, unprecedented and scary time for so many people. There's probably never been a greater need. Absolutely. We were just talking about that today. We have an orientation and mobility program that's really important for people who lose their vision. Wanda Myers is the educational programs manager. The use of technology uh, for our students for the visually impaired has just increased tremendously and it's allowed them to stay connected to their family members, to their friends, and to also be safe but still, you know, have the opportunity to know what's going on around them. Of course, we look forward to all being back together again, but meanwhile, we're able to continue to educate and to in engage and learn together. And they told me about this neat app that's super popular. It's called Seeing AI, S-E-E-I-N-G, AI for Artificial Intelligence. And I'm going to show you how cool it is. Different options here. You can scan text. Short text. And it will read it to you. Short P-U-O. Samoa's ad. Samoa's. cookies with caramel, coconut, <laughs> and dark chocolatey Samoa's. You product. can also use a barcode. You can scan the barcode. And it'll tell you. Samoa's crisp cookies with caramel coconut and dark chocolatey stripes and this is Samoas. cool that's making me hungry but you can also One tell who's around you edge, eight feet away you're eight feet away processing 47 year old man with brown hair looking happy 47 year old man with brown hair looking happy so if I, I was, was giving you a here, grumpy face I'm gonna give it I'm gonna check it off for that and it made me younger thankfully. but again this is seeing AI and I think for even people yeah. like my mom who have trouble with farsightedness this could be a big tool and resource and it's just so neat how technology is helping. facilitating independence yes. opening doors for people who have had too many of them shut for them so for so it's many true. years it's incredible and all of their services are free yeah Braille Institute San Diego go to our website click on the help button for more information on free classes and resources. 47. 47 year old handsome male. Oh, it didn't say handsome. I just added handsome male. All right.